everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Liz and I post four beauty related videos a week and if that's the type of content you like then stick around and please subscribe down below that would mean the world to me. Um, and in this video we are just playing with some blues and greens like I really really wanted to do a bright green look because if you follow my Instagram a few weeks ago I was playing with all my like liquid lips, um, not lipsticks, like liquid metal eyeshadows and the blues and the greens were really standing out and that's what I wanted to play with. So stick around to see how I got this look. I even show you all my base products. So if that's the type of video you'd like to see, carry on watching. So I have the P. Louise base on in zero because I want to do something very, very different today. That inspired me to do a green look and I've got a few green eyeshadow palettes. The first one I have is from Technic and this is in Mesmerizing. The next one is a blue one but there is a green in here and this is by Beauty Glazed and this is Neptune and it's this shade here that I'm more focused on that I want to use because it's a little bit darker than the one in Uranus by Beauty Glaze which is a whole green palette. I just don't feel like there is enough greens in there so that is why I have brought all three palettes out and yeah I just want to do a lovely green look today. I just want to go out of my comfort zone a bit because I really do love neutral glam kind of looks so let's try something different. From the Beauty Glaze Uranus palette I want to take this shade here and just blend out my top of my crease with that just above it so I feel like this is a lovely like mint green shade. This is a very mint green shade and I want to bring it down here a bit. It's very easy to blend out as well, but it's funny, I feel like I can tell it's not as good as some of my other makeup sh eyeshadows. And then from the Technic palette, I want to go in with this green just a bit below that. I love the fact this has got a mirror. The other fat palettes don't. A lot of kickback. Let's deepen it up a little bit with this shade from Uranus. I just want to go a bit below the last shade. There's a bit of fallout from that shade, but there wasn't fallout from any other ones. I'm going to get a clean brush and just clean that up a bit. And from Uranus, I want to take this shade here to all over my lid, and then I have something to go on top of that. I have a few things to go on top of that to be fair. That is so pigmented. And then with that clean brush that we use to blend out the other colours, let's use that to blend out any harsh edges that we may have. I want to test out this MUA like roll on shimmer face and body thing and I want to see how that does on my eyes because it does well on my hand like look at that. But I want to see how this does on my eye. Hopefully it works. It's a bit scratchy but it's working. They're not the easiest to use but it worked a little bit. just want to blend it out again. Then I want to take this Glam Crystals by Collection in the shade Le Freak. So I'm going to use the e.l.f. Paula's Putty Primer again, just because I did use it in my full face of e.l.f. but I wasn't as impressed, but it's just not my usual base, so I'm going to give it a go with my normal base and see how that works out, um, and see how it settles under my skin, because I wasn't too, too, too impressed yesterday like everyone is, so I'm going to try that one more time. So it does feel really good on the skin, like... It feels like it soothes out my skin quite nicely. I'm just not sure how it does under foundation. Like you can clearly see it's doing something. I bought a new shade of the MUA Pro Base and I'm hoping this is a better match for me than my paler ones. Cause I love this foundation. This is an amazing foundation got the shade 150 so hopefully that works. Oh it does look like a good match. A little bit orange. Okay so it's a little bit too dark so we're going to lighten up with a bit of concealer and powder as usual and I'm going to use the e.l.f. camo concealer in the shade light beige and then I'm going to go in with my favourite powders which is the L'Oreal True Match in 3W and 
the Stay Matte Rimmel in Transparent. So I'm going to use all of this and come back and hopefully we'll be a bit less orange, hopefully. Usually once you powder down it's not as bad. Time to bronze with some MUA bronzer in Bronze Perfection Matte. This is one of my favourites. Lovely bronzer, no matter what shade of skin I am at the moment, this always suits me. It just blends so seamlessly into the skin. And then for blush and highlight, I have the Milani blush in Berry and More and Bronze Deco by Barry M. And I want to put that highlight in my inner corner as well. Now we're done with the base, let's just get on with the lower lash line. And I want to put this one really close to my lash line, which is in Technic's little palette. And then I want to blend it out with the paler green shade. And then we'll move on to lips and we're done. So I'm going to use an angle brush to really press that dark colour to my lash line. And for lips, I'm going to go really like brownie nude, and I'm going to use the e.l.f. lip line with uh, Nabella Noor, and I want to use Side Art by e.l.f. as well in their Seriously Satin range. And then we're going to just come back once I've done my eyelashes, and I'm actually going to give a little bit of a review for that Beauty Glaze palette and that Technic palette, because I'm quite happy. So I have no like icy shade to put on my highlight under my brow bone so I'm actually just gonna take that gold shade again from my highlight and use that under my brow bone can't believe I nearly forgot to put something under there like this look kind of needs it okay finished look I absolutely love it I'm in love with this green shade it's very like I know a lot of people do like the really out there looks, that's just not me, but what I do like is the fact that this is a bit more me, it's a bit toned down compared to all the bright colourful looks that people do, and I'm in love with it. So this is the second video where my foundation shade is just not what it should be, but let's just forget about that because in sunlight it doesn't look too bad, and let's get on to these little palettes. now. I haven't used these palettes before at all, if you see my palette collection they've been sitting in there for the longest time and now I finally used them, like I love these little palettes, they are so like pigmented, it is unbelievable, these are imag like amazing, the only thing I would have liked is more matte greens in there and I feel like the same for the Technic one, I feel like I want more matte greens, like they're kind of very similar like side by side they are literally the same thing so they've both got this pale matte this is more green this is a bluish green then they've both got like the forest green a nice gold here um they've both got like a bronzy khaki shade here then they've both got like a deeper one here and like a matte shade that like it literally it all connects it's all the same thing so like if I swatch, they're different tones but they've tried to keep it in the same, wow. The one in the Technic palette is from that, is not that pigmented. I could have actually used that as a highlight under my brow bone. And then let's go for the middle shade. So this is the Beauty Glazed. Look at that. And then this is the Technic. Again, the Beauty Glazed one is very, very pigmented. And then let's go for these two because they look extremely the same. So that's Beauty Glazed and that's Technic. Beauty Glazed palette is much more pigmented than the Technic and the Beauty Glazed is softer to touch than the Technic is. But as you saw, I used a mixture of both in my tutorial and they both worked amazing. So even though the Beauty Glaze is more pigmented, they they worked so well. And this shade here, this is really, really like screaming my name. This is a lovely shade. I probably would recommend the Uranus one 
Bad Beauty glazed over the Technic one. However, the Technic is great as well. Like, whatever one you'd want to get, I'd say go for it. But this one is my favourite. If you like this video, please smash it huge thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I will see you next time. I'm thinking of doing like a colour series because I think I need to start getting through my pa palette collection. So I'll see you soon, guys. Bye.